to the <clears throat> box box. Welcome indeed. We have a very, very full day. Yes, full of, full of games. Yeah. So what we've decided to do is we are doing the first levels. I'm going to just go into Mario real quick. Let that be on there. So we're going to do the first levels of some pretty iconic games, right? And we're going to kind of iconic discuss... Iconic or popular or historic or... Yeah. We're just fun ones. First levels, first introductory moments, etc. And we're going to talk about them and how your first level in a video game is the one that sticks with you yeah. throughout all of time. Where's the title? The title of... Of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, What's it's happening here? Um, I don't know if that's just the ROM that I have. Let's see here. What is reset? Let me... Oh, did you, like, pause it before it loaded or something? Oh, uh, let's reset it. It's How strange. Reset. No, it's just... Um... That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, let's see what this is. Maybe it's a hack. I hope it's not a hack. But first level of Super Mario Brothers 1, it's super fast anyway, so we'll just go through it here. Why is the title not there? I don't know. So, I'm sure everybody is aware, but um, the first level of Super Mario Brothers, it kind of teaches you how to play if you've never played a video game before. Eventually, it realizes that if you're going to push all the buttons, you're going to notice that this one lets you move forward. So you're going to move forward. Yeah, of course the next day is where... Oh my god, I got to do something. So you step on the thing. The next day is where what? Uh, the next day is sort of made the assumption that you were reading the manual um, for, well, a lot of the information. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, <clears throat> it's maybe a bad practice recently to just sort of expect the player to figure crap out with the controls. Right. Um, but when your controller consists of a total of four <laughs> buttons and the directional arrows, I think it's excusable. You kind of figure shit out fast. Um, that right there, that mushroom that you get, that makes you bigger. Um, that also is um, sort of a learning device because it looks kind of familiar to the thing that you just stepped on. So sometimes your first inclination might be, oh, that's going to hurt me. And the way they have that configured is it, it makes it kind of tough to get away from the mushroom. Like it bounces up and goes immediately to the right. Where it the, hits a thing and starts coming back at you. Right. And if you're far enough in it, like you can't go backwards and you can't get away from it. So then you ended up, you end up hitting it. Should I get the secret? Oh, no. Where is it? Where it's is a, it? It's to the right. There it is. There you go. Um, and so it, it kind of teaches you, like, hey, that one's a positive thing. Maybe some things that are in question blocks are positive for me. Then later, Mario Maker would flip turn that all on to goddamn head. Bullet bills on Mario Maker? Try, like, Super Mario Brothers 2. I, I know, I know it was much more recent than that, but, like... I mean, like, the actual, like, Super Mario Brothers lost level. Um, Actually, you know what? Mario Maker's a good example of people hilariously misunderstanding good game design. Yeah. There, there are a number of parodies of World 1-1 on Mario Maker, and basically the only thing that's the same about them is the, like, that configuration of blocks at the beginning, because that's the Mario 1-1 blocks, and it's like, oh yeah, that's the lesson we want to take from this, it's recognizable. And, oh, I was going to get the bottom part. Okay. But yeah, there's, like, Mario 1-1 is such an iconic and influential thing, don't forget that we're stopping after that. Mm -hmm. um, that those that configuration of breakable block and good block and some kind of vertical obstruction appears in so many things. This is Mario Brothers too. Jeremy doesn't like this one. It's not a Mario wait, wait, game. Wait, 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 shit. Reset button again. F2. F2. Okay. Apparently. So. Do, 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 do. I'm sure everybody in your grandmother knows 
what Super Mario Bros. 2 was actually called, Doki Doki Panic, in Japan. When Mario opened a door after climbing down a long stair in his- wait, a long stair? Yeah. Just one. <laughs> Not a case of stairs, just That's a called a cliff stair. <laughs> Um, fucking stare. He saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Okay, so who do you normally pick? I know you don't normally pick, play, play this game, but who do you normally pick? I go for Peach, typically. Luigi? She's a first one. Alright, I'll do Luigi. I, I don't usually play with Luigi. I don't care for him that much in this game. Because he's got the, the twirly legs. Yeah, so Mario 2's first level is very different. Yeah. Primarily because this was not a Mario game initially. No. I mean, it's Luigi's Mario's sister. Brother, brother. Why would I say sister? He's Mario's brother. That's Mama Luigi to you. Mama the Red Jack. Yeah, some of the mechanics of this game are ones that you really had to have the manual to grasp, like where the doors go. I didn't! I didn't have a manual. You just had no. to figure it out. No. I, I feel like this is enough of a departure from the logic of the previous game that those unfamiliar with it would need some help. Nah, you just you just go like, oh, what do I, what can I do? I can pick things up. Like, like, okay, so get back here. I remember when I figured out that I could pick the enemies up. Oh frick. Um, <clears throat> so I don't like Luigi. He's a wild card. When I first figured out I could pick the enemies up, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I landed on one, and I was like, oh my goodness, I can pick up enemies and, and get hurt. Oh, he knocked him way up there. Did you see that? Yeah, jeez. See, like, if you figure out that the little potion um, puts a door on the ground, go in the door and everything's all weird and dark world, and then you notice that, like, oh, there's actual things that you can, you know, the, there's things you can grab in the dark world, and then so you go, like, oh, what are these? I'm gonna grab them. And they're coins, oh my god. And that one's, that one's pretty easy because your, your normal inclination... Oh yeah, this one actually had a pause screen. Yeah, listen, listen. Because, like, the HUD information is... Listen, listen, listen. I think that's what we in the music industry call channel a breakdown. Three. Anyways, so, like, you, your, your first inclination is to throw things immediately after you pick them up. So you wouldn't really be carrying around that potion, right? So no. you normally throw it where you pick it up, and where, what was there when you threw it? Yeah. Mushroom. So then that teaches you that, hey, there's hidden mushrooms in the dark world. Awesome. I'm calling it a dark world. I don't know what it's Subcon. called. Subcon. Whoa. It's called Subcon. Subcon? Yeah. I said subconscious because this is a dream. Hello, Budgie Bin. That's a friend of mine. Was 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 Budgie Bin in your, in your last stream? No. Uh, they're a friend of mine from Telegram. Oh, okay. Well, actually, a friend of mine from New England. I will refrain from making New England jokes. Thanks. <laughs> what? What's a normal New England joke that you would hear? I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. Birdo. It's Birdo. Look at him. Dare you face I this. have no control over Luigi's jumps. Ow! Fucker! Look at, I love how his head is. I, I love the small versions that are just like tiny bodies, same head. Yeah, take that. Take that egg to the face. Oh. How will you deal with Birdo's cutting all the position attack? So fuck you! So you have to like jump ahead of time with Luigi, because he doesn't he has like no sense of landing. You know, it's a really good damn thing there aren't any clouds in the background of this actual arena. What do you think those are? Those. Those the, are... Like, th those are clouds, but, like, in if they were in this space, it would make it oh. a little confusing as to where the egg is sometimes. Because I won't. Like, 
like they're the same sort of thing. <laughs> wait, 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 look at, look at, look at. Whee! Shit. Oh, fuck. It's like, what do you think Luigi's thinking about? <laughs> Oh, fuck you. I knew that was gonna happen. Hello, play it again, Dan. Why did I let you talk me into doing Luigi? You asked. It's my least favorite character. Alright, I'm gonna beat this guy and then we'll move on to Mario. <laughs> right in the head. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, Guy, Birdo, canonically male, despite how he appears in I know. That's why I said the him. Paper Mario series. And then you walk oh, into this oh, bird. Oh. Alright, let's see what I can do. Cherry! Yeah! <laughs> cherry, 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 cherry! Ha 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 Oh, that's what the coins are for. You have to say cherry, otherwise you don't get them. Cherry! Sorry, guy. Aww. Hey! Did you do that on purpose? Yes. Hi, person tips. Mario time. Do that on purpose. Personitis. It's your favorite. Person tits. Shy guy, shy guy, shy guy. Almost. Alright, so. Last one up. It's gonna be one Super up. Mario. <laughs> last one up. One up. So, we're gonna do Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah! First level of Super Mario Brothers 3. First of all, did you know? I just learned this the other day. In this opening animation, Mario gets hit by a shell and he goes down to Little Mario. In the Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers Three, that's what happens. Yes, yeah. Good. Just losing one level was an was an addition made specifically for the uh, the sissier American audience, I guess. That's where do you want to go for? Pansier, Pansier wow. Dragoon. You mean? I mean, <laughs> okay. So it, it was a decision made as part of, but by, by Nintendo of America, they assumed we wouldn't <clears throat> handle difficult games as well. So we're going back to first level education. We we uh, once again mushroom block, or no, mushroom blocks, question blocks, and a goomba. Right? And you have to deal with the goomba, on. and then you find how the background elements behave. Right, and then this one. And you have your familiar pipe, except there's a twist okay, of... You can step on these guys. Yeah. And this guy comes out and he shoots a friggin' fireball at you. That didn't happen before. Yeah, they've got fireball technology now. How does that make you feel? Vulnerable, but I got... What the fuck is this? It's, depending on who you ask... Got it. Uh, a um, pair of testicles. No, it's not a tanuki. That's a raccoon. No, where's the tanuki? Then? The tanuki's like way in. Oh the right, the five. tanuki's the suit specifically that does the same thing, yeah. except for the stone thing. And they're named after tanukis, which which have um, pendulous testicles. Canonically, reportedly. Oh come on now. It, it, no, it's 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 canonical. Like representations of tanuki all have these pendulous balls. Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Japan, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna hit this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you a little trick on this level, okay? You probably already know this. But, see my coin level? Yes. Your coin has to be. Get the thing, okay? Your coins have to be exactly matching. So either yeah, like the and, first and is... even. Yeah. So 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, or 8, 8. Your score has to be that number as well. So now it's at zero zero. Like one zero, two zero. So it matches, so it's two. And then the last second of the time has to be two as well. Three, two. And then And then And then nothing happens. No, oh, and then you get a pirate ship. Coin ship. I was really? Is that what triggers ships. that? Huh? I never actually knew that. Really? Yeah. Wait, you seem to be agreeing as I was saying you asked me 2 2 or 4 4. Or I, six, six, it's six, not what I thought you were talking about. I thought yeah. something else was going to happen. Oh, what did you think was going to happen? I, I thought. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. So, those are the first levels of Super Mario Brothers.
this. Um, one, two, and three. So next, on the docket... I love the music in three. And two. If there's any feature of two that I like, it's the music. The music it's is so good. really awesome in Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah, I don't... I'm pretty sure that's the same music in the people who can it, right? Um, you're actually going to be using this controller. Ah, right, <clears throat> yes. I don't have a Sega Genesis controller. Okay. Did I just give it away? What you're going to be playing? No, that's not what I'm upset about. It's like, don't clatter that down next to the thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's because it, like, it makes an awful noise. Did you guys hear that? They did. Twice. The first time you set it down, and then now. Ah. So, uh, that's going to be down here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please switch to uh, Genesis. You want to come sit? Actually, no, this will be a quick enough experience. You're just going to be behind me? Well, let me back up a little. Yeah. Hmm. Window. You know what? You've got the magic touch. I'll let you do this. Sure. Yeah, that works. You let me do this. Yeah. All right. There you go. Probably ought to have turned off the camera for this. No, it's fine. You get to see Jeremy's tummy. <laughs> no, my tummy. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. No. Damn it. <laughs> Windows, please. Do the thing that I'm expecting you to do. The annoying thing that I usually hate. What? Yeah, I wasn't what's doing what's happening to me? I don't know. That's fine. Sure, close enough, I guess. Oh, no, wait a minute. Didn't we have, like, a minimized copy? Yeah, but it died. Oh. Okay. No. Genesis. Genesis. It is not any of those. No, it's under S. For Snick. Um, do you have to make this different? Oh. Probably. Wait, didn't we decide that this was 4-3? Where'd our list go? No, 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 yeah, you, you made this guy. And then there you go. <clears throat> Are you sure? No. Yeah, no, it was 4-3 on, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Come on, sound. There you go. That's loud. Do I have literally no any options? There's separate volume controls now. Oh boy. There you go. That's a good volume. Sure. All right. Let's go with it. All right. So. So this is a a, a game um, called. Um, Pikachu's Warehouse. <clears throat> well, then, what did we Did any of our config actually come over correctly? Go to... Go to set config. Controllers on the far. There you go. That one. Switch that to Logitech. Oh, it should be defined, so hit OK. Just now. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Move your mouse. Oh, it doesn't show up. Anyways. Yeah, no, it turns out. <laughs> Who is he waggling his finger at for you? Now, what's your first experience with Sonic the Hedgehog? Was it Sonic 1? Uh, Sonic 2, personally. Mm -hmm. 
Um, with, well, Sonic 2 was always my favorite, but we did we did own Sonic 1, so I probably started with <clears> that. <throat> um, but it... Uh, I was never super good at these. At the, oh, right. That. That button. Uh-huh. Sonic's always been a game about controlling your speed. Not necessarily... Well, I say always. Up until recently, <laughs> uh, Sonic was a game about using your speed wisely and not just going fast all the time. Define recently. Ten years. <laughs> Sonic Adventure was just three years ago. I'm not old. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, that's that's the precedent for Sonic games. It's the whole third person oh, right. There's perspective. No There's no spin dash. Jettisoning for... down hall. Oh fuck. Good job. I died. Did you know that's a glitch? That you die. In the uh, North American <laughs> release. Wow, Jeremy. You know, people make mistakes. It's okay. You don't Look, have to I'm, be like, that I'm was playing a glitch. On, I'm playing on Twitch. I have to blame the controller. <laughs> or the game. Be thankful I don't work for IGN, where in this case, this would earn the game a 0 out of 10, because I can't <laughs> Hashtag Cuphead. This is too hard. No, Cuphead get a 0 out of 10 on IGN? No, there was that one reviewer who could not figure out the tutorial level that was telling him how to get over a thing. And he's like, this game's too hard. It's terrible. And, like, it, be it became a whole thing. That's why when you showed me, um, that's oh. why when Super Mario Odyssey happened, mm -hmm. uh, and there's the, like, assist mode, I keep calling it, um, game reviewer mode. <laughs> Because, like, the game go- God damn it. <laughs> Literally jumped into the flashing ball. We love it. This is- this is the one. This music is so pretty. There's no spin dash. Really that is, um, the thing about Sonic that I remember the most is, like, this music is fucking angelic, you know? That was yeah, my it, first experience Yeah, it's music is so good. God damn it. Because at the time, I... This jump is so stupidly difficult. What are you trying to do here? Get down here. Oh, okay. Um, at the time that Genesis came out, I, I was aware... Like, I, I had friends that had Nintendos, right? Um, oh, you didn't get the special stage. No, I didn't. I had friends that had Nintendos... And I went over to their house and played Nintendo and stuff. But I personally owned an Atari 2600. Nice. Me and too. I had Frogger for it. And I also had a Star Wars uh, Empire Strikes Back game. Yeah, this is the jump I'm thinking of. We jumps. Oh, hey. Well, that's much better. Yeah. I will, I will tell you, I like the and shield. Also this one. Oh no, that's not a... Fuck! <laughs> that's a glitch. So that's a secret? Like... <laughs> um, I like the shield, I like the way the shield looks better in Sonic 1 versus Sonic 2. Because it actually has... It actually looks like it has some substance. Right, like it's a... Looks, it looks like it's a three-dimensional object, you know, instead of just... I, I will say, block. I like... I like what Sonic 2 did with it to make it less of a cheap transparency trick. Because, like, I do like that it has three-dimensional shape in Sonic 1, but you see it's how, how it had that, like, checkerboard. Is that like a, uh, like a band from the 80s for invisible people? Cheap transparency trick. Ah, it's a stretch. <clears throat> this segment, way harder than it needs to be. Really? So, okay, the space here... Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> You're pointing to where our audience can't see. Fine. The space <laughs> underneath the rising platform is technically yes. a pit. Uh -huh. uh, whereas it could have been treated like spikes, and had the spike glitch not made it into the release version... Um, you could have potentially recovered from missing the platform. Unfortunately, the spike glitch manifests as, like, a disagreement between the invincibility timer and spikes, and that's what leads to dying when you've just been knocked back by spikes. Oh, okay. Did you get 
you guys write that down. It'll be on the test. It'll be on the test. <laughs> that, that's my line. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Fuck. Right. No! Right. There remind we go. me. Remind that it's not the controller. It's the controller. Yeah, it's not the controller. <laughs> it's the controller. I need my soda. I need my soda. Oh, oh wait, I, wait. Careful. Oh, good. I can pause in here. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Me either. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that reminds how me. did I do that? That's pretty good. That reminds me of um, whenever my younger sister played games, like video games. Um, she would... Oh, good job. Like, <clears throat> she would, um... She would, like, right before she died, she would, like, pause <laughs> and throw the controller. You know? Like, if she was, like, about to land on spikes or something, pause, throw the controller! Like, like it's not my fault. <laughs> like, like, it's not gonna happen if I can't see it happening. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um... Sonic 1's special stages actually get faster the longer you spend in them, which uh, is a tradition that would come back in Sonic 3 for the Get Blue Sphere stages. Oh, yeah. Sonic 2's special stages, which were the half pipes, went at one speed because they were all pre rendered. Everybody seems to like those the most. I, those are not my favorite special stages. I, I actually would I like. I really like the special stages with the Blue Spheres. No, I like the Blue Spheres. I, I'm talking about the half pipe. Oh, God, no. A lot of people hate the half pipe. Everybody seems to like them. I like the, um, I like this one and the blue spheres. I like the blue spheres the best, actually. Actually, here, let me talk about this particular segment of stakes. and jumps? Um. You got no ranks. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Uh, Sonic has, I, I was talking about the, the, um, speed management. Mm -hmm. Sonic stages typically have three routes, generally speaking. Um. There's the top route, which is you're doing your speed management correctly. Uh, there's the middle route, which is uh, you're doing fine. And then there's this, which is the bottom route, which is more like a typical platformer. Um, if you can't manage your speed right. Mm -hmm. It's a punishment. And that's be that that shows up in the... Uh, yeah, you might want to fix that. Oh. Thank you, person tits. I don't know, what do you want to say? Um, it's a glitch. <laughs> that part's a glitch. Gotta go fast! Gotta go first! That's... I like it. Oh, that's clever. And then... And then make it Sonic, not... Oh, right. There you go. Ready, boo, ready, ready, I really Thank you kind for of being patient. really kind of hate this mechanic of keyboard right now. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to type in front of an audience. Because you're not a mechanic. Yeah. Um, no, the, the, the bottom route has a bunch of obstacles that are specifically to trip up people who can't manage their speed correctly. Like this red spring. It's recoverable because you can jump you can jump back into a, a favorable mm -hmm. situation. But by the time you get over there, you've already tripped crumpled away this platform, mm -hmm. so if you mess up again, you'll die. And if you're just trying to go fast, you'll run into these spikes, and right. then you'll die. And then if you jump wrong, you'll, run, you'll bump onto these spikes again, and the glitch will cause you to die, but you shouldn't die. And then there's some... Well, you traversed it nicely. But like... That's... This can die. This bridge thing, that can go to hell. I hate that bridge thing. See, this is, this is the middle round. But I fall into the bottom route for not jumping at the right point. Also, I was going backwards, but don't worry about that. I'm doing that bridge. God damn it. The tendency for springs to remove you from your spinning state is actually really annoying. <laughs> Fun fact, those tubes actually force you forward if you happen to get stuck in them. What did I just do? I don't know, I saw that. You broke the game. Okay. Look, it's all fucked up right now. Blast. Go back, go back. Yeah, you broke the game. <laughs> Blast processing is supposed to avoid that. It's like the Truman Show and they haven't built the world yet because you went way too fast. I like this bridge. What the f No! I like it way too delicate. That's why it's the middle route for learning to control your. 
<laughs> Look, just because I know how these games work doesn't mean I'm good at them. <clears throat> that whole waterfall is like, oh look, we're on a Sega Genesis, we're showing off our layers. Not only that, but like, you hear that little bit of noise? That's added no. in specifically for the waterfall flow. Yeah. Makes sense. As soon as it's off screen, it stops. Yeah. It's not common. Necess God damn it! Oh, fuck. See, there's that glitch again. We <laughs> got a game over. I've got the ring almost in line with the O. Do you want to try again? Yes. Let's blast through it. Okay. You can do this. <clears throat> so it's Green Hill Zone for Sonic 1. I think Sonic 2 is Emerald, Emerald Hill Zone. Yes. And then Sonic 3 is Angel I Island. need to talk about this. Nope, it's working fine. Never mind. Okay, I'm glad we talked about it. <laughs> it's the controller. I swear I'm jumping and it's not letting me jump. <laughs> but fine, fuck you, controller. Behave when you want to, I guess. I will, I will say that controller is old, but it should be working. Nope, that's bad. What have you done? I... Why are you doing these things? Shut up. <laughs> I remember the core concepts of where the secrets are, not actually where the secrets are. Maybe I should just not try for the secrets. Let's get to the boss battle, because you got two more games to get through here. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh god. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic, Sonic, Hey, Sonic. an additional invincibility box. I know, right? It's kind of like the stars in Mario, where if you're playing it correctly, you find more of them. But not. Which Mario? Super Mario Brothers 3, I believe. If you're in ring form. Well, there's certain there are, there are certain levels in Super Mario Brothers 3 that that. Yeah, see, person, I'm doing it perfect. intentionally. I'm a thorough overview of the level. Take notes. Doing? It's giving a very thorough overview of the level. This is the no, 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 no. Yeah. Right there. That, that's how you lose the special stage, just so you know. Which, from a design... A very good demonstration. From a design standpoint, always made me feel a little weird because the, the losing part is labeled gold. <laughs> Those tiny orbs I that take... I can imagine that making, making you feel like, No! You lied to me! But, like, why are they labeled gold? You know? Dash. I can't. This is Sonic <laughs> 1. The tails to help you. I also can't. This is Sonic 1. <laughs> but you see what I mean about the shield? How it's got that little cheap checkerboard to make it transparent? Why is it, why is it cheap? I think it's pretty. Just like the um, checkerboard on the half pipes and Sonic 2. Well, not half pipes, the poorly pipes. I'll show you. This checkerboard. Fucking cool. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, can't okay, come back now. Aww. I saw you beat one, so we all know you can do yeah, it. Yeah, I can do it, and then I failed at it. It's all good. On purpose for the talking point. Very much. Excuse me, so yeah, Sonic 1 had uh, three acts per zone, mm -hmm. the end of which had a boss. Sonic 2 went back to two, or went to two, with, ah, uh, no, damn it. Springs as obstacles, making you waste time, by the way, is one of those bottom route mechanics. Like, there. So this is Act 3, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, see, what's so hard about that? I didn't say hard. I, well, it's not hard. It just makes you... 
because your 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 default is your Sonic the friggin' Hedgehog. You, you want to go fast. Well, see that that's what and I mean. You want to tear like, through stuff. If if you want to go fast, that's how you fall to the middle. <clears throat> right. It's about going fast appropriately. Right. But please go fast. For to be honest, you don't necessarily go fast and and go through the top route. You you have to do a series of jumps that maintain your height. Yeah. It, they're called the top, middle, and bottom routes. They're not, they don't necessarily align that way with uh, level geometry, but like they usually do. His little ball has a checkerboard pattern too. They really like utilizing that in this game. I think that's the single you, best I've ever done. That. You beat me! Arrgh. If you can manage to get over to one of these capsules while he's still exploding, uh, the animals use the same palette as the exploding graphic. Ooh. So, like, if you can open that while his capsule so explosions are still happening, fire. they come out just like... Rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah, they wow. look like they're on fire. Alright, mm, Sonic 2! That's not the shortcut. <laughs> Good try. <clears throat> Is my uh onward to Sonic 2? Onward, yes. Sega. I changed it behind me to be Sonic 1, so. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and update. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, Sonic 2 was the introduction of this shit. Yeah, that that's lame. Right? Um are you going to do Sonic and Tails, or just Sonic? Sonic and Tails, why not? Okay. Emerald Hill Zone. The same overall formula, starting out with a view of the sea, the dancing flowers, trees, etc. Except now you've got coconut monkeys. Hello, I am updated, monkey. Updated version. Welcome of... to my island. Speaking of IGN. Was that IGN? Maybe. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Monkey Island? No, Coconut Monkey. Um, fuck, it was this gaming magazine that I used to subscribe to. It came with a disc of demos and such on every single uh, subscriber month. Ow. And you put it in. This was back in like the late 90s. You put the disc in and it was like this <clears throat> this uh, CG 3D generated monkey. And you wandered around this island, and his name was Coconut Monkey, and like, oh, weird. he would show you all the different stuff on the island, even though I always went to just, like, game stuff. No, I don't remember that at all. I think they were, was that IGN? I don't know if that was IGN or Game Informer. Is Game Informer still around? Probably. Anyways, I don't remember what that was, but yeah, he, he talked like this, he was very, like, weird uh, no. Jamaican accent. <clears throat> Which I don't think that was Jamaican on my part, but. Is that even a real language? Mm. Is that gonna be a running gag for us? Sure, why not? <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, Sonic 2. Um, the special rings don't appear when you finish the level with over 50 rings. For anybody who doesn't know, I was playing Resident Evil 4. And the Spanish-speaking individuals were speaking Spanish, clearly speaking Spanish. And Jeremy was like, what are they saying? Is that even a real language? In my defense, they were zombies, and I don't usually <laughs> pay attention to zombies. Watch it. Oh, you fell for it. Yeah, that's another one of those incorrectly modulating your speed tricks. Whoa, okay. You just kinda you just kinda saw the matrix there. Yeah, just a little. Ooh, good jump. Very good. <clears throat> That's hard to do. Ah damn it. That's I hate those. The the ones that appear immediately above each other. Right. You just don't get hit by them you'll, you'll be okay. Yeah, you're right. I should just get good. Mm -hmm. Just just learn to parry. Son of a bitch, Jeremy. <laughs> wow. What are you doing down here? Can I get that box? <laughs> That's not how I get that box. Nope. <laughs> That's a pit. I forgot. 
Shut Best up. run. Best run. There you go. And jump! Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna backseat drive you a little bit. I play this level more oh. often than I've taken jumps. <clears throat> See those twirly bite things. Those twirly platforms. That was to your right. Those are also checkerboard. Yeah, checkerboard has sort of become an icon of damn it tails, you ruined my platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is oh. okay. So what do you have to say about Sonic 2? Uh, overall a complete improvement. Is that like the game review equivalent of mostly harmless? <laughs> There are still a couple of design issues I question, but oh, yeah? I like them. What'd you think of uh, Sonic Mania? Loved it. Bill, uh, go back much to perfection. it. We played that, didn't we? We did. Oh man, the music's getting quiet. It's a creepy boss. How are you ever going to survive this? Horrendous death machine. How was he controlling the car before he landed? Was it moving? Yeah, it rolls into scene to catch him. Remotely? And in that, if that's the case, why did he, why did he bother to land? I don't know. He's not the smartest German. I, I was always a fan of this. What, that it just flies off? It, it flies off faster, though. Um, <clears throat> because, like, you've gotten used to, maybe at this point, jumping when you see the drill to mm -hmm. land on him. Oh, so it, it got me when I was a kid all yeah. the time, yeah. You know what's great about those animals? Hmm? They were, like, single file. They were, like, lined up perfectly. I wonder if they were in stasis or if they were just kind of chilling there. You know what those machines are? Those are the roboticizers from, uh, from the Sonic comics. You're freeing the animals from being turned into enemies. That I know, but I didn't know they were called roboticizers. Or like their storage for the roboticizer or something, mm. I don't know. But, like, that's what the capsules always were supposed to be, I believe. Sweet. Alright, last one. Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> I mean, I could. It's right there. But no. I was a fan of Sonic 3D Blast. Alright, Sonic 3. What are you doing? The correct one. Oh, come on. Be that way. Are you gonna be Knuckles? Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. I don't like that joke. I think it's really silly. I like this music now. Makes me want to go on vacation. Why don't you be Knuckles? I'm gonna be Sonic. Because <clears throat> this has the correct intro. He looks so doopy. Or hey, look, I still have this the chaos emeralds from Sonic 2. Yeah. And now I don't. Jeez, Eggman, why didn't you just uppercut Sonic the Super Sonic? Ever. Uh, yeah. Because apparently that's all it takes. Right? Just for some. Dreadlock dude that come out of the ground and knock him out of your face. Good one. You alright? Yeah. What'd you do? If you, Did you put in a code? Yeah, if you hang on that first thing and then push. Push the thing? Yeah, there it is. There's the sound test. If you hang on that first rope and push um, uh, up, 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 left, left, right, right, down, 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 I think uh, you get the stage select. So that's fun. Anyway, this is about the first level, so I'm, <laughs> going, I'm going back there anyway. I, I, I appreciate it. So 
the first time the, uh, the level select code hasn't been just something you enter from the main menu. Yeah, the specific level. thing. Yeah, you have to be in the hanging <clears throat> position, which I mean technically means that you can pull that off uh, in Mushroom Hill way later into the game on those like <clears throat> things, but meh. So yeah, Sonic 3. Same controls as Sonic 2, more polished graphics, and the Insta Shield, which apparently nobody likes. What do you mean nobody? I like it. Oh, cool. Do you know how to use it correctly? Yeah. I don't. When, um... And now we go to the best Sonic stages. When another Smash Brothers uh, enemy comes at you, you have to hit it to dodge their attack right away. Some people get nauseated from these. Hopefully none of our stream audience do. Well, I don't really want to know anybody who does. They're, I mean, that's just not my kind of person. But, you know. I love the heck out of these. Like, they, they get a little difficult as they do continue to increase in speed. Mm -hmm. um, which as is, do I. Which is by design. Uh, there are some... At least there were, in my younger days, some uh, rumors circulating that the fact that these speed up is an accident, given how many, like, entities you're removing from the game engine as you do this. Uh, but no, it's just, it speeds up by design. <laughs> I could see young Jeremy eating that factoid up like, oh! I mean, it's just like how if you hold A, B, and down, your capture rate in Pokemon increases dramatically. I've never played a Pokemon game. I love how it says perfect before you're done. Fucking goddamn it! Why would you curse me like that? I don't know. Why would you do that to me? It's really funny because it's like perfect. Oh wait. <laughs> you know. I'm really disappointed in myself. Aw, you'll be okay. Look, he got a little Sonic. He's like, yay! Yeah, I gotta continue. Yay! Really. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. These three rocks are actually kind of neat. The first one? Have you named them? No. Jeffrey, um, uh, Harold, and Henry. So these rocks are not, <clears throat> they're not the same as the ones that I'm comparing them to. But the first one is an, is the kind of shape that you can break by jumping on it. The first one's Henry. The second one is the kind of shape you can break by rolling Harold. into it. And then this last and one is the Jeffrey. kind of rock that uh, only Knuckles can break. Right. No, you can break all three. These properties are not shared by these particular three rocks, though. You can break all three rocks. Oh, no, maybe those are the ones that Knuckles can break. Whatever. You can break all three of those rocks. As Sonic. I don't think so. Yeah, go back. I promise you. Move out of my way, Rack. And then there's this one. I gotta go fast. The first pushable object. Can you go back game. there? I can. Let's do this. No, I need these rings. <laughs> I gotta propose to 400 of my girlfriends. What? <laughs> I need all these rings. So, stand on the very left of the tiny one, and do a spin dash toward it, and let go. Really? Yeah. I don't know why you didn't know that. And I don't even... I'm not even super familiar with Sonic 3. I didn't know those three particular rocks were breakable. <laughs> at all. It's the one thing I know about this game. What a weird fact to have. And then, uh, like from Sonic 2, the, the uh, goalposts uh, 
bubbles. Get the bubbles. Oh, you got the bubble. Good. Bubbles are the best. The gold posts return with their special stages, but they are not. Actually, no. Wait. Wait. The, the... Hey, thanks for thanks for. Uh... Pad pad has joined thanks the for, Fox What's Fox. it? What's it called? Following. Thanks for following. following. Yeah. That bad. Oh, hey, person. I just popped in to see what they were playing. It's Sonic! We're playing a bunch of stuff. The first levels from various iconic games. Very much. We already went through Super Mario Brothers. Oh, man. It's the hardest boss in the whole game. Yeah, you can't even kill it. And it destroys the entire world. Well, no. That was the that was the fleet of them in the background that you saw. Hey, what do we got next after Sonic? Yeah, after Sonic... I believe we take a jump in genres to first-person shooter. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. For sure. Doom. Say it again. Doom. Oh, very nice. Can you do a, do a, can you do a Duke Nukem impression? I'm Duke Nukem. I can't. <laughs> I've got balls <clears throat> of steel. That's a little deep. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of ass. <laughs> That's good bubblegum. Had to chew ass and kick bubble gum. What was that? The Fire Shield makes you completely We were watching Mystery the Science Theater 3000 the other day, and like it was, it was set in like an old, like 1800s, and it was like I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and bubble gum hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> uh, yes. Good to see the plants are still dancing though while the island burns to the ground. They're more like writhing. <laughs> Check them out. They're like, no. Like, no, no, why? Why? Painful. I believe that's supposed Get to be blue the. Balls. I believe that's supposed to be the introductory blue sphere because it's real hard to miss. I love how it doesn't let you do that one stage that you didn't do over again. Yeah, there's. It's just like, no. There's a whole fuck ton of blue You did not pass the audition. Goodbye. Do, do you know about the blue sphere lock-on thing? Yeah. What? If you connect <laughs> Sonic, Sonic three, at, Sonic and Knuckles has more. Oh, that! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can if go you through all of them. If you connect it to them. Sonic one, um, and push in a button combination, you gain access to. Why did I do that? You kind of saved it. Well, there's no point in going after the perfect now. You're not gonna get a perfect. Um. Why did I do it twice? I. Uh, you you gain access to. I'm impressed that you were able to recover both times from that. You gain access to the um, Blue Spheres stages, which is just <laughs> an endless series of these things. Not, not technically endless, but there's like a hundred. Yeah, that's really funny. One of 99. It's like, oh, I'm gonna play Metroid. Oh, which level? Metroid. <laughs> the level. By the way, it turns out that, uh, um, for, for the spheres detection thing, it's not programmed in, like, which areas become rings. It's any area that's sur of blue spheres surrounded by a contiguous border of red spheres. I've always been curious if someone would like uh, hack in an entire sphere, a sea of blue spheres, if the game would have a problem trying to calculate it. Oh, jeepers! Yeah. Like if that entire sphere of ocean of red spheres could turn. Into See, rings. those are big blocks, and you were able to break them. Yeah. It, it, whatever. <clears throat> hey, look, it's your favorite thing. It's the bridge, except yeah, you revived as no. military platforms. And you lost your bouncy. Yeah, it's fine. Break it! Break it! I'm gonna go this way. And get the best Ooh. shield. That is the best shield. Or do empty spaces? Or do empty spaces cancel it? Wait, what? Um, isn't there a continuous border of red spheres? Yeah, empty, empty spaces cancel You lost it. your electric. Yeah. The elemental shields are one of my favorite aspects of this entire game. <laughs> yeah. And the way I, they actually interact with the environment is really cool. Because they're like, oh, hey, Knuckles is this cool dude that can pretty much fly and, like, climb on walls and shit. And then Tails can pretty much fly. And then they all kind of are as fast as Sonic and jump like Sonic and 
Knuckles Spin Dash like Sonic. So. Sonic what are we jumps. gonna do with Sonic here? Knuckles jumps just a little lower than Sonic. Sure he does. My dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> Sonic 1 makes a devilish return and B's impossible to navigate stages. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine! These appear if you've got a whole lot of rings when you touch the, uh, the gold places. Yeah, see, those say goal, and they're the bad end, and I don't get it. It's the goal. It's your your goal is to get out of here. The goal in Sonic 1 was... What does he mean, the empty spaces cancel it? Uh, with regard to, like, the, the sea of red spheres. Um, oh, okay. Like, yeah, empty spaces will cancel that, uh, that boundary calculation. What do you... What? Hmm? What? I said boo Oh. Uh. I'm apt to say that. I'm prone to say that. You went on a spiral and it was very boo uh. situation. Crap. Well. Well, there you go. I meant to do that. Get blue spheres, Bentley Bear. In... Yeah, so watch me in some uh, demo material or like early early development cycles of Sonic 3 um, you can still find photos of it circulating around the internet but like early translations actually had that prompt as get blue balls yeah that's why and, I said uh, that earlier blue balls. thank goodness that got changed before hitting North America I don't, was it demos or was it just the early testing? It was the early publicity stuff. Like you, you can you can see it in uh, uh, you know advertisements for Sega's upcoming game. Uh. Um, what was I gonna say? This is all true. You're doing great. I'm glad I hired you to do this. Oh, yeah, still see my page. <clears throat> that was a weird noise. Did you hear that? What, the extra life noise? No, no, no. It was a weird ticking noise. <laughs> um, we've oh, got some first person shooters coming up. Um, we've got like Doom, we've got Cave Story. Uh, we've got, we were trying to do the original Thief, but we can't seem yeah, to get the work right. Yeah, it's not behaving correctly, uh, so we'll do that on a future stream. Duke Nukem 3D, uh, and some other stuff, so. We've got a whole list. Doom is great. Hey look, ghost fire. Tiny bit of fire that's still underwater. I hate these things. Yeah, these should have gone and stayed in Mega Man and gone to hell. Well, Mega Man's worse because they're like these actually are on a proper like timing to your jumps. Mega Man was just like memorize this pattern. Fuck! Oh hey, that was cool. There we go. That's an excellent recovery, and I entirely intended it. Alright. You missed the thing. And now we have a scripted sequence on the Genesis. Semi scripted. Wow. Does that sound really shrill to you? No. Just like part of that noise is very high pitched. Sounds fine. To me. <clears throat> We're all very lucky that the flying battery didn't have more bombs. <laughs> Fortunately, it can be blamed on his robots because clearly he was not piloting the machine. Fun fact. The entire hitbox of the bridge disappears the moment the first segment starts to fall off. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so if you're uh, standing on one part... Oh! 
What'd you do? Knockback. Oh. And my shield got cancelled, but it knocked me into the pit instead of away from it. I believe in you. I'll do this again. I'm curious, is... Is that object in the sky supposed to be the flying battery? Because it's a very different color. I can tell you. I I I'm not super used to super or, or to uh, Super Mario. 3. I'm not used to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I, I I've played it, but it's not wasn't in my growing up repertoire. So. So yeah. The bridge is not solid the moment the first piece just breaks. Nice. You can very easily get fucked up with that. It's very interesting fireballs he's got there. Sonic 3 was the first game to have and they just like, shit all over his head. actually appropriate <laughs> animals for each capsule. Oh, yeah. so, like the birds come out of the flying capsule. You know, I get that Knuckles is like like secretly a good guy and everything. Yeah. Um, okay, what do we got next? Oh, right. Uh, you're, you're just having so much fun. You're like, I, I enjoy Sonic. Let's do it. Uh, where is our list? I should have it up. It's on... If you open up Chrome. On top left. There you go. Chrome. Next on our list is... Mega Man. Mega Man 7. Yeah. Bear with us momentarily. Gonna click to the break screen. Actually, you know what? No. Gonna go to this. Hello! We're not, we're not going anywhere. I wore a shirt for you guys. I was not wearing a shirt yeah. earlier. I also wore pants for you guys, yeah. even though you can't see them. I failed to do that. I <clears throat> not wearing pants. Mm. Sorry. Which one's the that one? Right, this one. This one. Now this one works correctly, right? That was. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Sorry, we got a lot of games today. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Right? Mm hmm. No, you got it right, for sure. Board game. Have you already got that configured for this? Do you think? Nope. Okay, input configuration. It does it. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Uh, I forget what the layout for this is. It's oh, it's right, right there in the picture. Bom, 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 bom. First level of your living room. <laughs> it's just, it's just the living room. Oh shit! I left the. Uh, look at it's like I was playing PlayStation earlier I left that on that does not seem to be on the thing nope that's right it had to use jank mm. video window settings four yeah there we go that's beautiful the thinking of. okay okay oh Cave story worked on window mode. That's right. Right, right, right. That's right. Sorry, I'm, we're I'm sorry. Our, <laughs> we have a lot of games planned for today. I know, right? Also, our estimate's way friggin' off. If we were supposed to be at that for 25 minutes. We've been at it for an hour. <laughs> at what, Sonic? <laughs> Mario and Sonic were supposed to take 25 minutes both in total. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, Oops. I'm not I'm not going to make fun of you here or anything, but, you know. Yeah, they talked about it a bit more than I thought I would. <laughs> sure. Is that what you call fucking up? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh, wait, crap. Is that a Sonic joke? I'll pretend like it is. Yes, it was, as long as you're pretending. Megan, man. You're out of room. <clears throat> sure, okay. I like it. I dig it. <clears throat> Sound. Do I have volume? I sure don't. Windows, assist me. This be better. That's good. Yay. In the year... <laughs> In the year future. Nah, it's not Mega Man X. Um. Well, cheered Mega Man. When I last long, he did captured, some kinky shit with Wily. Captured and imprisoned Dr. Wily. <laughs> hey, he's on the leash. <clears throat> I think Tony XX is bad. Look at all that gibberish English. Bot. 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 This is my favorite plot, by the way. Wiley's actually pretty devious. Dr. Willie always knew. No, he's not Dr. Willie Willy here. Always knew his schemes might end in. Gibberish. Failure. Oh. And had <clears throat> planned for just such an occasion. It's that one scene from Final Fantasy VII. Four robots had been hidden away, and after six months... They had to pee. <laughs> I bet. <clears throat> Without being contacted by Dr. Willie. See? See, now it's Willie. Mm. They actually left it in. That's funny. Willie. Begin searching for their master. Do it. Never enough masters. So many subs, never enough masters. Destroy the city looking for one. Hello. That's a robot with some hair gel. This guy's way smaller. <coughs> later. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is that a cameraman? <laughs> So yeah, Mega Man 7. Mega Man 7. Mega Man 6 ended with uh, Wily being completely defeated and taken to jail. And then... So we're going to go to the... No, damn it. We're going to go all the way to the game select, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the intro cutscenes and... and that uh, city is a rip. Intro level. See, I, I wanted to... I wanted to do classic Mega Man after we'd just done, like, classic other iconic games. Right. Uh, but Mega Man doesn't really have an intro level until this one. Right, yeah. It's just like, kind of a whatever you want to play and whatever. It just starts with the Robot Master picking. I like this because he puts a weird hat on him. I remember that. <laughs> Me too, wait for Mega Man, take this helmet with you. I made it myself. I, I like the implication that Dr. Light thought that this would be better. With this hat? Yeah. I guess not. I actually have a Mega Man helmet right there. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's right here. Closer. Go closer. Go ahead. Look at the details. Oh. <clears throat> You're a little scary right there. That was the robot master intro. You gonna kill us all? And now we get to play. Nope, never mind. More cutscene. Did the doctor? Are you oh, oh, okay? I'll right bring roll back. <laughs> so she's right over there. Got roll back in prices. Sorry. I have another Mega Man toy over there. Forgot about him. He's got a little bit of a oh, tummy. Yeah. Dr. Wily. No, that's... <laughs> Look at him. Guess he's got, what? He's got a little bit of a tummy. 
fat Mega Man. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Eyebrow wiggle in 16 bit. I mean business. You've got to go now, Mega Man. I, I really, really love the. Uh... How come somebody, nobody's ever done like a, a Santa, Santa Claus? Oh, uh, it's a common joke. I'm like... I almost said Santa the Hedgehog. <laughs> What is this, Mighty Number Nine? No, I, no. This, let's is, not this is get, what it, this is what inspired that horrible. Let's not get into that. Total ninety nine. Mighty Number Ninety Nine. <clears throat> Mighty Number Nine. Mighty Number Two. A scathing review of Mighty Number Nine. I bye, person tits. No, per, person's not leaving. Ninety Nine's leaving. Oh, oh. Person saying buy one of 99. See, here's that guy from the intro, now much smaller. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, he's smaller. Or you're just gigantic. I mean, Mega Man is pretty big. In or maybe game. he's a smaller version of that guy. I guess. Maybe there's a big old one that's just hanging out. God damn it. There go. Oh yeah, Mega Man tradition. Giant enemy? No reward. All random. Hey, look at this. These are robot you, pieces. That, that noise, though. Oh, sorry. These are these are all robot pieces. Uh huh. And that that big boss had some battle damage. I didn't do that. Who did this? Um. This enemy. Who's that? What's his name? Base. Base. That's right. Or Forte in the Japanese one. Can you beat him? You can. But uh, the, like, correct one is... You better tell me who are you! Better wait, tell wait. me who you are? Yeah. I'm Bass, and he's Treble. Trebel. We've been He's trying to stop Dr. Dr. Willy while you were gone. You are much too weak to battle Willy. Maybe you better sit this one out. Oh, he's got that 90s attitude. Like, well, see, maybe you better sit this one out. If, if you get this low on health, he stops fighting <laughs> you and says that. Mm -hmm. If you actually deal enough damage to him, he's like, you must be Mega Man. <laughs> he actually gives you I an, have an ounce of respect. Cool. Uh, but yeah, the, it's a level that actually manages to set up some story points. Yeah. And then these are the four robot masters. Okay, masters. does the guy on the right look like Patrick Warburton playing the tick to you? <laughs> Never before, but now he <laughs> now does. Now you can't unsee it. Unfortunately for you, he's... Junk Man. Junk Man. Look at his junk. <laughs> Stop. Look at it. Let's take a five minute. He's going to use the junk attack. <laughs> And then we'll get on to the next game. What are we playing next? Next, Cave Story. A different platformer fighter game yeah. thing. Oh, let's do Cave Story and then we'll do a five minute. Okay. You think so? Yeah. Okay. That's not going to... How long? Is that going to take? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Actually, we got to switch chairs. So yeah, well, yeah let's okay. do five Let's minutes. go to break. We'll go to break. Bye. Bye.
transition and come out the studio mode. Good. Great. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, now that's we're gonna play the music that should be here. That's good. Okay, so. Um, no, no, thank you, person. I, if I hadn't realized what cacophony I was so, hearing in my ew. head, it's super useful. But thanks. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> Let's try that again. <clears throat> Jump. Oh, controller keyboard got changed. Okay. Jump. Boom. Fire. Boom. Up. Left. Swap left. Swap right. Pause. Now. Done. So this is the original music. This is the original music. I love it. I don't like this one. I don't think you should. I do like the remastered, though. I like some of the remastered one, but let's go with that since you're playing. The remastered? Yeah. yeah. Cave Story is a game very dear to me. It's, uh... It's, it's just... It's so charming. Ooh, we got a So much transmission. From somewhere, a transmission. Connecting to network. Logged in. Starting in chat. Kazuma, Sue? Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. In case you couldn't read the username. It's I was Kazuma. somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm sorry, Jeremy. What were you saying? It's me, Kazuma. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? So, you must be Sue, since he's transmitting to you, right? No. Oh, are you doing the thing with... Okay, I see what you're doing. I'm gonna save... Yes, I've done nothing. I'm gonna save my game. This is... Okay, so this game starts off in a very interesting way. Um, because, like, the, that transmission received bit of the music is still really loud compared to us. Keep talking. Um, it like the 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 transmission arriving. Transmission arrive. Arrive transmission. <laughs> arrive transmission. Um, Sorry. <laughs> sort of implies that uh, that you're receiving it, and Ooh. I mean, again, I guess you are, but you may not uh, may not necessarily have been the intended recipient. So yeah, you've got platform, breath, a small amount of life. He's in a cave, and it's a story. He's in a cave. cave There's some story. kind of story happening around you. Wait, look at this. Who disturbs my slumber? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> Mario 2. The doors are giant heads. That's what I do. Hey, buddy. Zzz. This character is just saying letter Z. Yeah, with the treasure chest. Obtain the polar star. Yeah. So much transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! Answer me. They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother this, this is, is so one of lonely. The, this is one of the details about... Uh, um, about the retranslation that bothers me. Someone's transmission as the caption yeah. doesn't have the same level of mystery as from somewhere a transmission. Because it, it reveals that you don't actually know who that is. Oh, right, right, right. But from somewhere a transmission and then someone telling you it's Kazuma still sets up the illusion that he has any idea who you are or that the intent of the, the message is for you. Spoilers, it's not. Also spoilers, Seth burnt pumpkin. I can smell it. It's burnt. You are playing as a small man with a gun. Okay, so that's, that's the thing. Is like, do you... Is he a dude or, uh, or, a, or a female? Uh, 
Technically neither. Your character's a robot. It's a they. I did not know that. Your character's a robot? Your character's a robot, and it's not revealed until much later, but uh, Thanks, everyone was Jeremy. already everyone was already aware of this. Everyone? Except for Ben? Well, people you encounter in game. Mm. I see what you're saying. So people who matter already know. That's what you're talking about. People refer to you <clears throat> in game as ah! a soldier from the surface. I like the the gun. That door's an enemy. This is the only time the enemy door appears. I like the, the gun situation in this game, that it's, um... Are you, Doritos? No, yeah. You pick up the little Dorito chips. Come on, Sue! Type something, will ya? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that that... I even ate a cockroach. Lol, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. And now we jump somewhere right, else. you do this guy's voice. Give me the key. Ooh, very good. No way. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue's a good person. That's apparently the only voice I know how to do. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Sue's a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko, the next time that the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but... Just hand over the key. Wham! <gasps> Question mark, exclamation point. Octo... Er, no, um... Interrobang? <laughs> Hi, are you okay? What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. I mean, I'm pointing a gun at you. My name is King. King! I'm number one in this village. Number no, one? I say number one. It doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left. Well, really, including Sue at seven, but she's not one of us. I really know how to count. She's just an outsider that came into the village. Die! Oh, wait, I can't. You cannot shoot the baby guns. So I go in here first, right? Fun fact, there's hidden health in this room. Sue? Yes, no, sorry. Oh, no, yes, okay. That cute girl who was hurting in his little partner's house? She recently came to Mimica Village. She fell into the reservoir. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimica, same as the rest of us. Mm. Hi, Anima! Anima! What up? Everything shines brightly. Obtain the silver logo. Alright, now run. Why? <laughs> if you dawdle too much, then I guess the air. This fish, look at this fish. That looks the, like the fish from uh, American Dad, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. That's the only fish like that in the game. <gasps> wow! So, uh, don't go through the door. Jump up to that ledge there. And shoot the empty space. Like, back up a bit. Shoot the empty space. Oh, what the? Did that get taken out? All right, never mind. In the original, you can shoot at that empty space to spawn hearts, which can be useful if you've taken damage in the first cave. You're up. Hand over that key. No. <clears throat> Bye. Now, for number one and king, you're... Ah, Toriko! Don't underestimate me. I mean, she kind of kicked your ass. you can literally cold. knock me over. What was that noise? That was a... That was a computer. Oh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Going to the graveyard. It's up here, isn't it? No, but didn't I need the locket for something in here? Y you need to catch up with. Mm, go. Jeez, you scared me. Sue? Wait, I'm gonna give this guy a voice. <clears throat> you mean that girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Torica. That girl's a real kitty. She must be looking for flying dragons. I wonder if there's really such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. So, uh... Bye! That's that's the village's food storage. And that guy is just... Nomming away at eating it? Eating it. Yeah. I hate that guy. Do you want to save? Yes. Bye. Wow, who 3 really printed a save icon? <laughs> oh, I told you that story, <laughs> You did didn't tell I? me that. That makes me happy. And also angry. Yamashita yeah, found a floppy disk, like an 
old three, three, three and a half by three and a half by eleven. No. Three, three and a half inch floppy disk. It's a very long floppy disk. If it's eleven inches floppy, well. Uh... Wow. This is the farm where we grow flowers. This is where the fish lives. <laughs> My job is to protect this farm. To use mig mimiga these flowers. To us, these oh, to, to us mimiga these flowers. Yeah. But not red flowers. I heard that if we eat red flowers and blood pressure skyrocks, and we'll die. Okay, I skipped through your dialogue. I'm sorry. Basically, this is the farm, mm -hmm. and they try not to grow red flowers and kill red flowers. The red flowers are bad. For reasons. Obtained a life capsule. Something I always found a little oh, interesting. I'm Juggernaut. What? So this game is dating itself a little bit. Or at least the opinions of Nicholas, the publisher of the remake, are dating themselves. Because once you've got full health, you unlock the achievement, I'm Juggernaut, bitch. Yeah. So there's a there's an optional thing. See that treasure chest? It's thinly. Yeah. It's not here. Wait, wait, whoa. What? It's a drawing of nothing. It's a little kitty cat. It's actually a little kitty cat jellyfish thing. It's it's a character from another game that uh, the developer made. What about the chest? You got the map! Ooh! Technically optional. Don't sing the map song, please. As long as you're following my tennis and some exploration, you will someday find a way out. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Ugh. Oh, you missed it. <clears throat> I could have gotten it. Shack! Um. Wait, what What voice did I give her? I forgot. You jerk! Don't get your ass handed to you by a small girl. Do I have to hit her? Yep. Well, oh, help me, help me. Uh, you're not the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. Just keeps recruiting companions. The doctor's what's to go. I'm just gonna constantly change her voice, like, The doctor is not your girl and evil person. Please don't do that. <laughs> he shows up in the village and kidnaps me at all times, even kills him. Doctor, he killed my older brother. Landed his tarnish right on top of him. Ah, that pendant! You picked I it up. I was drinking. Me. Sue gave it to me. You're always drinking, you lush. <clears throat> but I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. And here's the bird I have a big problem with. Oh yeah! Huzzah. I Huzzah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me! I've got the nose of a clever harrier! Indeed! Wait, did she say indeed? Yes. Your, your turn. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first! You two, you're with the doctor. <laughs> you must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue. Where? Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again. Not this again! I always have to clean up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? <laughs> you wanna get a beer? Wanna fight me with that little pea shooter? No. Huh? Alright then, I'm gonna go back home. Bye. So yeah, if you say yes, you are treated to your first boss battle and can get a little extra Dorito experience for your gun. Hmm. I should have said yes then. He's <laughs> not want to be confrontational. Too easy. Where's the great bear? Uh down a level? It's beyond the assembly hall. Main screen turn on. Torco's been kidnapped. I thought you were gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. 
We have to inform King! I use a lot of exclamation points. It's like pointing his way. So fuck it, I'm just gonna go, right? Or do I have to go back and do the story? So in the original translation, he specifically mentioned that he was guarding the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is a little bit of a weird thing to say, because like, from who? What's going to come out of the cemetery? Turns out the answers are these. That guy with the knife is really quite dangerous. I see that. Look out. What? Well, fucking... Don't awesome. get manhandled by mushrooms. Oh, I died. Oh, I straight up died. You have died. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Cave story. Not easy. Not as easy as yeah, so I go away and be like, hey. My name's Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is moving a cemetery. There our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. Oh yeah, there it is. Mushrooms. I'm keeping watch to make sure they don't come in the village. And like before you go through the door, that's like shouldn't that be like a slow process? <laughs> and then once you go in there you find out that the mushrooms are giant and alive. Let's just get, let's get past this part here. Can okay. you want to try the Balrog fight or Um yeah, I think I, I've done it before. I think I can do it. Is there a fast forward button? No, it doesn't. Start? Nope. Never mind. Indeed. The nose and the brain as well. Balrog has a weird nose. He's just got scribbly bit. He's <clears throat> a lunchbox. Or a toaster. It's a large rectangular robot. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Understood. Understood. What did I get myself into? Ah, no. Don't let him grab you. Balrog's design, uh, according to Pixel, the developer of the original cave story, uh, is inspired by a bar of soap. Don't get doo doo on your fingers! Uh, <laughs> my butt bad. No, no, do not compare that character with Balrog, please. <laughs> that horrible thing. <laughs> I fucking love that. Do you also love that it really bothers me? I love that it bothers everybody I show up with. If you ever get a chance, look up Fairy Wish Prince on YouTube. That's very an not safe for work, though. It's totally not safe for work. It's a really fucking funny animation. Ah, he did it. I'll remember this. Balrog will remember this. <laughs> Defeated Balrog. So yeah, get a few little chips. So now that uh, now the Torico's gone. Get in the graveyard. Maybe save first. Right? Yes, I want to save. Thank you. What's this guy's name, by the way? Who? My, the guy I'm playing. Oh, uh, that's not revealed until the very end of the game, and, and only if you're doing the good ending. Oh, okay, so you're not going to tell me. I mean, I can tell you if you want to know. Maybe after we're done streaming, just so we don't spoil it for people. Okay. Oh yeah, I was talking about narrative stuff. Um, the the continued references by characters in the game uh, to things that the player's not aware of is one of my favorite things. Like, oh, you're a soldier from the surface. Well, given that you're you seem to be underground, what would you think about where the surface is? Where do you think you are? You like in the in the center of the earth? Is that what you mean? Yeah, you think you're underground. The, yeah. Yeah. You just said, given that you're underground, where do you think you are? Fine. You think you're <laughs> below the surface. Uh huh. The surface that the That's characters are referring means. to is the surface of the earth. Ooh, something is written on the 
against him. Hero has to two to be hero. Hey. <clears throat> What'd you say now? Um. The surface is the surface of the earth. You're correct about that. See that little movement, by the way? What? See that little thing moving? Yeah? Talk to it. I never noticed this. Can it's I a help tiny you? man. I thought it was a little mouse. It's a tiny man. Where'd he go? What is he? He's a very small man. What's he do? Uh, he's part of a secret in the very late game. I've never noticed that. If, if you can find his family way later in the game, yeah. come back here, tell him that he needs to go home, uh, he'll climb in your pocket, and then you take him back to his family. Uh, he will exchange one of your high-power guns for a different, very weird gun. Damn, that's nice. It's a gun that gets weaker the more experience it gains. Its highest level, it shoots river ducks. <laughs> its lowest level, it shoots enormous penetrating fireballs. I like those. sense. So where would you say the first level stops here? Uh, probably after the egg corridor first pass. Actually, you've probably reached the end of the first level now, but I want you to, like, look into the egg corridor. Right after do this. Yes. So yeah, that computer just told you that's the computer that uh, Kazuma was messaging. Mm -hmm. But why were you seeing it? The answer is, you're a robot, which you learn shortly. Hey buddy, calm down. This guy's a big part Watch out for that little white thing moving back and forth, fellow robot. This touch is as deadly as it gets. Yeah, so if that thing touches you, it deals 127 damage. Oh, right. I remember that thing. I remember because it looks a lot like, um... Them Pringles. Every time you get hit, you lose a little experience from the game, too. Yeah, I know. I mean, go on. Alright. Leveled up. Now you've got double shot. See, that's what I love about the gun situation is that the better you do, the better you are able to do. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. These bugs are the worst. Face through walls. Is that, like, level 3 lets me shoot up and shoot down and project myself up? Uh, no, that's the machine gun. Okay. But machine gun hovering is a speedrun strat in this game. So it's the last time I played this game, I think it was 2010. Unless that's not possible. I mean, Cave Story Plus came out in 2011, so... But yeah, it, it's building on basic platformer techniques, and I really love the narrative tricks that the game does. I like that it has a thorough narrative. You know? Okay, so this is Sue, right? This is Sue. There you are, you monster. You don't scare me. <laughs> what? You want some of this? Take your best shot. Even my big brother has never beaten me. Wham! <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Wham! Sorry, I'm sorry! Wham! Oh. Wait, did he say pow? <laughs> I think so. Who are you? Where's my nose? Ack! Ack! <clears throat> ack, 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 ack! <laughs> Was he an alien from Mars Attacks? Ack, 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 ack! Ack, 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 ack! Walk, don't run. Jeez, that's something I haven't thought about in a while. What, Mars attacks? Yeah. Hey, that's highly unusual. You're a soldier from the surface right now. Where's your palm count? What? Your memory? <laughs> so yeah, this guy specifically remembers you. Um, soldier from the surface. I was talking about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the surface is actually below where you are. This is a floating island. So, 
you you are underground, but the surface they refer to is the surface of the Earth, many miles below. And I always thought that was interesting, that, that because of the word choice, you're not necessarily aware of that until it becomes very obvious that you're in the sky. Right. Like, oh, that's weird. You have to get into egg thing. six, I believe. Yeah, but there's a little thing that tells me that. Oh, it's further up. Yeah, this game has elements of puzzle, platformer, shooter. At some point, it's not Maku. That's probably enough. That's enough? Yeah. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. That's not what I just want to do. Just look at this. Oh, yeah. I just think that guy's high. It's just because he opens his eyes <laughs> and he's just like. Alright, so we're gonna stop nope, that. Right. You guys make me want to pick this game up for Nintendo Switch now. Oh my fucking god! It's a good game! Yeah, I mean, fuck, I think it's like, what, 20, 10 bucks, 20 bucks for Switch? Yeah. I was looking at it. The original's still out there for PC, and it's still free. Um, but yeah, definitely, <clears throat> uh, definitely support the developer. All right, um, so our next game, our next hey. game. Hey, Slick Cat. <laughs> nice. Slick Cat, Slick welcome to the Fox Box. Thank you, Slick Cat, for coming right, so to what the are we Fox going Box. To next? We are going to do... Oh, is it uh, first-person shooter time? Yeah, we're going to start with Duke Nukem Threade. I'll take care of the uh, channel admin. Here, let me switch over to DOS box here. Oh, it's tiny. Oh god, why is it tiny? Oh, right, because it's it's not gonna capture DOS box, it's gonna capture the other thing. You you have to start the game first. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll Also be fine change with change the caption. Yeah. Um well of course I have to be like Still a tiny window. Yeah, still tiny. Weird. Is it? Is it just tiny? I guess yeah, it is. It's I mean, tiny. Why did it do that? Uh, do I have the wrong one? No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, let's make that not so tiny. There. Warning: adult content. So mature. <laughs> so mature. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, you're not doing what you think you're doing. You don't know what you don't know me. <laughs> there. There. Uh huh. That's what I wanna do. Okay, so can get some Let me make sure that I got my options. Yeah, fucking okay. New game. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Enter yeah. it. Those yeah. aliens bastards are gonna pay for Nope. And that's the entire reason that this man saves the earth. Because <laughs> someone shot his car. Well, it was, um. Well, and then later he learns that they're stealing the women, which he can't stand for because right. he needs to do all of that. 
Super Misogyny Brothers. Duke Nukem 3D. It, hey, hey. I mean, that's true. But it's all, it's all, it's all tongue inside of cheek. It, which is, which is what? Which is, uh, uh, uh. Uh. Why is that? I don't know. Why is that a, a I don't know why that's for, a phrase. For One humor. moment, let me find out. Let me ask, ask? Let me ask the internet. Let me ask the internet. Let just, me hatchet. Just ask the entire internet. BRB hatchet becoming a cheese pie. Ha <laughs> I got it. So you got, uh, got that, yeah. This is this is the original like I mean this isn't like a yeah this was not up. one of the first first up. person shooters but yeah. this was one of the first ones to like do it really well well um, right it was like the build engine you could get um, proper slopes and shit like that what I'm having an issue with is the control scheme yeah the controls were still not very like, well done okay you can't you can't see this but to jump I hit A duck is Z, space selects things, if your brain isn't already going like, what? I have no mouse control. Um, I turn the right left or left. The left and right arrow key turns. Yeah. And then up and down goes forward and backwards. Now to strafe... There is a strafe key, I think. It's alt? Is it alt? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. hold down alt to, to strafe, yeah. But, but with no mouse controls, you can't. Who, who came up with this control scheme? I, I mean, it worked for the time, maybe? Well, it works right now, but still, it's like, come on. I'm so glad we got our shit figured out with control schemes for first person games. Right. Now here's a- Like, here's if a nobody goal. thought of that. There, you had to jump on that sign. Do you see that? Do you yeah. see that acrobatic business? So, you had to jump on the sign. I jumped off of it stupidly. Here we go. Jump on the sign and jump up here. Ha ha! That's my atomic health. Atomic health. Atomic health. <clears throat> Come get some atomic health. And so, here, if you notice, see that little wall de decal there? It's all broken up. Boom. Tickets, please. Yeah. <laughs> Putting one's tongue into one's cheek was originally used to signify contempt. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh wait, what is... Oh yeah, the page up and page down. Oh, God, look yeah, up and that's look right. Down. You can look up and down with a different button that's if, halfway across the keyboard. If you look up, like, the geometry just becomes weird. <laughs> don't, please don't do that. <laughs> um, but look at, look at the detail. Like, I shot that and the, the clock exploded out of the wall. That's freaking cool. I think there's bad guys in here. Turn the lights on. Oh, those are the lights. These things are cool because it's like you could hatch into any of the <clears throat> patch in to any of these security cameras around. Hatch it. Where did they apparently? I said hatch in. Oh, well, like you're it's close enough. Like you're a bird. So there's one way to get into the movie theater. I'm gonna go in the the normal way here. I'm gonna go in the back door. Back door. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure Duke's into that. Fire. So you can even like shoot. Look out. What? The flying police. Oh, that's the background noise. No, the flying police. That's Where? the enemy they make. The, the enemy they make? The noise they make. He's that... around the corner, technically. No. No? That was background noise. No. Oh. I don't think we'll get to the flying police. I don't think it's in this level. Pretty sure it is. Okay. Yeah, fire extinguishers. Dangerously <clears throat> explosive, didn't you know? So we watched Jaws yesterday. Speaking of dangerous explosives. <laughs> yeah, true. And what, what I didn't... Okay, so it still has the aiming help. Did you notice that? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're aiming up or down at the enemy, so long as you are aligned with the angle at which they appear, you just they get shot. Right. Which, thank God, otherwise these controls would be absolutely <laughs> unforgivable. Right. It wasn't so much about uh, aiming. It was so much about, like, just going in, going through and having having a good time. 
that piece of wall is oh, going to yeah. up. Okay, so this this light, by the way, I'm going to talk about this light. This? No. Well, that, but also the blinking one. This guy? Yeah. This Volumetric is, lighting? Yes, this is my favorite thing. Because there's no real lighting engine in this game. Mm -hmm. um, these specific surfaces have animated textures that all line up with each other and blink to their light variation at random intervals. And That's I just, how you do it. I just love that. I love that they found a way to do lighting when they couldn't do lighting. Look at him. Look at him. Struggling. Boom! <clears throat> now, imagine, if you will... Let's see, what was the release date on this game? This game was released January 29th, 1996. 96. I was 15. I was 14 in January. <clears throat> but look at that. Sister Act 3. Poor. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Really Attack of the bleach, Bleached Blonde bimbo, Biker Bimbos. It's less of an attack. So here's a... where, like this other entrance was so um, you can go up to the arcade there's also a couple other places to visit here so here's the bathroom the, here's the toilet with the first mirror I think oh no it's not well it is in here and then what's it if you hit select on Damn, I'm looking good I'm looking good <clears throat> God, my... what's it again Gonna Pink violate uh, terms of service in here? No. With the urinals? Pink water. No, <clears throat> no, in game. Would that violate it? No. No, okay. I'm, I'm joking. Okay, okay. Ben, if if I ever bring up bring up violating the terms of that? service and I don't sound panicked, oh, then, we're then fine. you're joking. Hello. Boom. This is taking the dump. Now this is hilarious. You see that? Mm-hmm. Uh, much better. Also, I like the number written on the wall. You can just like kick, kick a urinal. That's what I was talking about. The number. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Yep. It's a song. I know. Oh good. I wonder well, how many people tried to call it though. I mean, you're younger than me, and sometimes I I don't know what things you know and don't know. By all rights, I shouldn't know this game, but I do. <clears throat> so picture, if you will, a young 14 or 15-year-old Ben. You know. Coming um, across this encapsulated oh vision of Japan in the corner here. Great. I think she says, kill me. Yeah, it's very quiet, but she says, kill me. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> so young, young Ben. Um, installed the shareware of Duke Nukem 3D on the family computer. Oh, boy. Okay. So, one day, my dad calls me into the into the office where the family computer is, and he wants to have a conversation with me because he found a violent video game installed on the family computer. Better make sure you're not going to murder anyone. Uh, do you want to know what game it was? It was the original Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. Not this one, no. Oh. Good. He'd probably have a lot of problems. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, okay, Dad, I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. Like, um, don't look in the other directory, please. I think this one you actually Got do it. have to aim at or, like, go downstairs. Yeah, yeah, you did. The aiming is, like... Is there a, oh, there it is. Okay, home and end. Okay, that resets your view. Okay, all right, all right. That's good to know. Oh, hey. It's like on the projector screen itself, too. Hello. So, oh, sorry. 
put down here. Go, go Enter the crotch. Die. Okay. I'm Bunch of ammo it. and a jetpack. So there's a lot of ways to get to the end on, on, on this level. Like, there's a lot of things that you don't see. Like, I could have just gone out there with a jetpack and flown up there. Yeah, to the arcade. The best line of the game. Yeah. I've gone to the arcade. I haven't even gone through here yet. Oh, come on. These controls are serious. Yeah, push space to open the door. Up here is just another way to get to the projector room. I know, right? Space is always jump. Ah, I'm so glad we got that figured out. <laughs> uh, as a as a species. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go up into the arcade. Oh, be careful shooting that one. Yeah. So here is the arcade Balls of Steel, which was actually an Apogee video game. <laughs> yes, it was. Interact with it. I can't. Oh, I thought he said the thing if you mess with this one. No. It might be a later Duke Nukem game. Okay. But this one he, he definitely says games. the thing with this one. This is actually a, a secret. Oh. We don't have time to play with myself. Ooh, gives you that. Hollow Duke is cool because, let me just see, I got all this stuff here. I never understood what Hollow Duke actually does. Um, This guy's steroids. It makes you go faster for a limited time. Manly. This is a portable med kit. Hollow Duke does this. So I'm going to do his Hollow Duke there. Now the enemies will go and attack him. Oh, really? Let's see if I can do that. Hey. Yeah. He died. I took him off. Oh. You took him off during the explosion, so I was like, oh, the hollow dude died. Yeah. Oh, fucking. Okay. Okay, did I, did I get this guy? Yeah, I you did. did. Okay. This door requires okay, So I'm gonna key. put. Go through here, that's gonna explode. I'm going to put a hollow dude right there. See? And he's shooting at him. Oh. It's kind of like. I never figured that out. <clears throat> Sort of a uh, diversion. <clears throat> Young me was very much a uh, uh, hey, I got this item, better use it immediately. <laughs> person. <laughs> okay, so then there's enemies out here. These pig cops. Just funny joke. Yeah, and whatever the hell this button is. Oh wait, I forgot. Jet pack. Let you fly. And shoot that security camera. Fucking. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Don't die. I'm not trying to. Come on, come on. Don't Sweet. die on level one. <gasps> Shut up. You're dying on level one. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. So now I'm gonna. <sighs> there. It's all good. Got another jetpack. I got stuck because of the friggin' buttons. Oh, you wanna hear him scream? This is awesome. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> also didn't know about that screaming. And but here like we go. Boom! Auto destruct. Now he just blew the entire place down. Yeah. The, the theater all the auto destruct, obviously. Right, exactly. So, that's the first level of Duke Nukem 3D. It's a very well put together level. It teaches you a it's lot a of stuff about the game. Very thematically weird level. Very thematically weird game. And uh, it was the last secrets. of the series. There's Thank secrets goodness, all over. Because it I could. I missed one, apparently. It, uh, it, it could never have been revived in modern times. It no. never, never would have gone well. No, I mean, and I'm and that's so a... glad they chose not to. Are you making a, an internet joke? No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm wishful thinking. I wish they had not tried to bring it back. Because uh, pink water all over like my shirt. Those, those ladies in the, in the, in the body pod things. Yeah. Those are weird, right? <laughs> but. They don't go are you, into are you, Would you about, would you say they're problematic? Those are weird, and they they thank goodness they don't really get into what those are doing to the women. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh boy, Duke Duke Forever <laughs> sure does. All right.
well, you know what those pods are doing? <clears throat> They're, y- y- yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they were doing that in Duke Nukem 3D, but in Duke Nukem Forever, they went into horrific detail about them, so. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a different conversation. I'm going to go on the brick screen just so we can switch our chairs around, just so that's easier. Yeah, we're not temporary. we're not gone. I'm just gonna get up, move about. I'm gonna do unspeakable things to each other while the camera's off. Lower. 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 <clears throat> oh, I shouldn't have quit DOSBox actually. Too low. We're in the same, should be in the same configuration. Okay. Oh, thank you. Dos box. There we go. Alright, so CD space. Right. Yeah, there we go. Do a do. I get software. It's a bit loud. Oh yeah, what's weird is that uh, you might want to turn it down in the mixer just a little bit. There you go. Now, you have to get into the game fast, because it tries to load the demo for the game, and oh. it's weird. <clears throat> so the picture? Yep, need to choose global. There we go. Move your mouse around. Not around, but off the screen. No, no, I'm, I'm showing you. Yeah. Also, no arrow controls. Or mouse controls. Right, exactly. Arrows! Arrows. Uh, okay, so left control is shoot. There you go. Oh, good. Space good. is to operate doors. Uh, shift, I think, runs. There you go. And I don't think there's any other oh, controls. Right, just as before. But uh, yeah, there is no jump. This is even earlier than Duke. Yep, there's no jumping. There are levels, but it's. What's it called? The rendering method? Ray tracing? Ray tracing, that's yes. right. <clears throat> it's all based on the concept of where you are and where the thing ought to be. Do you want me to tell you the secrets? Sure. The ones I know. Go back to them. Explore. Oh wait, there's a button on the back of Yeah, the explore those columns. Sure. I thought there was. Mm, you look them? Am I talking about a different one? Oh, well, okay, whatever. Sure, no button. My bad. Well, Maybe that was added in a different version or something. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> wow, what difficulty did I select? Hmm? What difficulty did I select? Easy. No. Or, no, you selected one up from easy. I was not paying attention. Yeah, which is, like, super easy. I think that, I think that's the... That <clears throat> so what do you think this is teaching you about this room? Or what do you think this room is teaching you about this game? It does not care about vertical alignment and also avoid the goo. <laughs> nasty. Did you get up to that? Does that lower if you bump into it? I forgot. I don't remember. I think you might be able to get to there with a different elevator. Or not at all. <laughs> well, you kind of have to aim somewhere. <coughs> what you do, um, why don't you do the second level, too? This is super, super fast level. Super short level. Some good music track though. Hmm? Some good music track. They're all good. Yeah, kill all three. Have you ever played Wolfenstein 3D? Yeah. 
That's hard to play. Very. Yeah. It's uh, incredibly difficult to stomach the prescient nature of Nazi revenge. This doesn't matter, right? No. It's not, it's not. Got the shotgun. Personal opinion, and I'm an old person, but they used to be a lot more adventurous, you know, like exploring areas, like puzzle solving, that kind of thing. The shooting was definitely fun, but it wasn't the only thing that you did. Most, I shouldn't say most. A lot of first-person shooters nowadays, they they tend to be like just a hallway of bad guys and duck. And killing the bad guys opens the door. Yeah, you duck and you shoot and you duck and you shoot. Have you played the, the, the 2016 game? I have not, because that's exactly what we're talking about. Hmm? Because that's kind of the... the um, I mean, it does exactly those things. Is that a go? Not. Okay. It's fun. It's, it's fun. It is super fun. The, the reason fun. why they do do is not like most modern first person shooters is that they. Most, like, the, the modern first-person shooter uh, MO is you, you hide behind cover and you get up and you shoot while you can and then you go behind cover. It's like the, the old spaghetti western shootout routine. I really hate shooting. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, it's goofy. My um, wrists are not having a good day. But the, what, the new, what the new Doom does is that, like, there's, no, there's nothing to duck and hide behind. You know, it puts you right into the middle of the Yeah, of you the are fight. you are the strongest son of a bitch. Well, that and like when you do you, you you shoot people and you wear them down and then they start glowing and then you can do like a special kill. Yeah. And the special kill gives you a bunch of health. So the more you kill, the more you get the health, the more you just in the middle of the fray. So what yeah. you think of Doom? It it's still Doom. It's still Doom. <laughs> it's still very hard to control. Well, oh yeah, with the keyboard. And like, I'm I'm glad it happened. I'm glad we got uh, I'm glad we got first person games as a thing. But boy, going back to it is taxing on my parts. So our next thing we're gonna do it should be hopefully not as taxing on your parts is super hot. Yeah. So let's let's. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Chef, in the background! <laughs> We're not doing that today. What, Chef, in or the background? Or potentially ever. Oh, God, yeah. Don't, they, they can't see what you're pointing at. I know. What, what is it? No. What is the game you're pointing at, Jeremy? No, we're not doing... This is fun. It's a fun... It's a, it's a game about flowers. <laughs> Sure. It's a nice game. It's the Luxuria game. Superbia flowers. is about flowers. A hatchet. How's it going, Anima? What you up to? <laughs> That's good. Or possibly drop it like it's... 
I get it. Okay. So the the game we were just talking about is a game called Luxurious Superbia. And it's it's a fun romp. As as a <clears throat> it's it's weird. I it's one of those games that you only play to show people, like you don't actually play it for yourself. Does um, I think this is screen one? I don't that's screen one, right? I don't know. Let's check it out and see what happens. I don't remember. Yeah, that's screen one. Yeah. I don't know why it's over there. So I should be able to not window game, full screen game. Fuck's sake, game. Start. Oh, that's not what FS stands for, is it? No. <laughs> Super hot. Super hot. Super hot right Super. now. Super hot. It's on the left monitor. Sure is. <laughs> Let's start over and do... Oh, it's capturing it, though. It's capturing it. It's just very on the wrong screen. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So just... Screen dose! Let's do this. If it shows up over there, I'm going to be really <laughs> upset. <laughs> Oh, no, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Yay! Ooh. Oh, pizza's here. Oh, yeah. We bought pizzas. Do you guys have a dollar tip? I do not. If you do, it's got to break from a blizzard to get to us, so... I have no cash. Tip extra on the thing that you signed, though. Well, I'm already tipping him $5. This is my share of the tip. Okay, this is not a discussion that needs to be on... We're on stream. Uh, how do I clear... The thing, because like it doesn't play the same if it's if there's history, right? I don't understand your words. What do you mean? How do I clear your past game? Oh, oh, that. Okay. Um. This one. Sure. Do you mind? I do not. By the way, it's showing up on like actually curved simulated CRT <laughs> is. It's pretty good, yeah. So good. Incoming message. You're playing Serpa High yet? I've never seen anything like it. Respond. Superhot.exe. It's a crack. Logs you into this company's site. And so you can play this game. Six shooter. I never noticed how stilted the dialogue is. <laughs> but, like, that's also that's intentional because, like, you're not in control of what your character is saying. Well, you'll get to that. If, if you've never played Super Hot, download it, buy it, play it. It's amazing. Before you play Super Hot, though, we have to go into the games folder. What it's the at? most innovative shooter I've I'll played stop. in years. Uh, go into the games folder and play Tree Dude. <laughs> I love Tree Dude. I wonder if Tree Dude's on Twitch. Tree Dude. His name is Tree Dude. And his song is. It's amazing how easy it is to mess up and treat it. <laughs> I made a bot for this game once. Oh, it kept my best score! Did you see that? Yeah. That's cool. I thought it would reset that too. 104 is my best score, which is not good. Anyway, that is Tree Dude. I made a bot for this game once. 
you made a bot? Yeah. To, to beat it? Uh, there's no end. It also technically wasn't this tree dude, it was a, uh, fuck. Oh, okay. It was a, um, it was like one on Telegram Games. I like it when you do that. <laughs> All right, onward, 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 onward. I'm gonna hit you. Why? Don't hit me. I am abusive. So this is super hot. Oh my god. It's pretty hot. It's full of pixels. <clears throat> oh yeah, seizure warning. Um, but like romaine lettuce, Parmesan cheese, croutons. Isn't this dressing. supposed to be? Oh, seizure warning. Oh. Isn't that supposed to be moving? Oh, Good. no, there we go. It's good. You missed my game. Or you missed my juke. No, I got it. Move with Wasad. Aim with the myth. Tribal moves where you move. So, yeah, much like, uh, much like other first levels, teaches you the controls in a very big way. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, very the first level oh. business. Very limited <clears throat> color palette. Um, mechanics are. Simple yet very strange. Grab the gun. Got it. Gun. Yep. When was the first time you played Super Hot? Uh oh. Did you ever play the the um not demo but like the Yes. It was I guess a setup tech, I guess tech demo? Ten. Oh, right. I'm thinking of my VR experience. There's no crouch. Whoa! That's how they get you with bullets. Yeah, they tend to get me with bullets. <clears throat> I see the problem with doing this after having played the VR version. Yeah. Is I do not have like context as to where my head is. Oh. I suppose yeah. What do you like better? I like the VR version a whole lot more. Yeah. That despite how horribly frustrating it is. <laughs> I don't know. You're doing pretty good on it. Super. <laughs> If anybody super wants to come over and play hot. super hot on super PSVR, let me know. Hot. Pretty fun. It's so sweet. I should even capture card so I can finish that on stream. Yeah, what was the one that we were looking at? The omelet? The, not omelet. The name of the capture card. You gotta try, you gotta, you gotta lead them. Um, what the? What happened to my bullet? What was that? Oh. I don't remember. Ooh, the sound is happening. Closer. <clears throat> I knocked my glass out of the fishbowl. Uh oh. Here, take my gun, I don't want it anymore. Super Hot has a very limited color scheme, a, a definite, no? a definite, um, oh, he's still going to shoot me even though time's not moving. A definite. Uh, a definite, like, retro aesthetic. Um, the, the old PC interface intro and dialogue is really quite sweet. Yeah, that's not in the that's not in the VR version, is it? It kind of is. Hi. Gun. Super. Super. 
love the replays. Super mm -hmm. hot. Super hot. Alright. That didn't go to a new level. <laughs> And so yeah, that's that's what we're causing. We're, that's what we're calling the first level because of super hot. Yeah, because it uh, it all just kind of stops here before the game gets way too real. All right, let's do the message. What did you think? Everyone gets something different. It's crazy. That's one word for it. I Download. The, the retro progress. Yeah, bar. I love it's, it. It's all great. It's so great. Well, uh, let's Game do this. So Try to beat my score on Tree Dude. All right, can I go get my bot? You have, no, you have five chances, five tries to beat my score and tree, dude. And then we'll take a break and get some pizza. Sure. That's one. Beat me already! Awesome. Oh shit, he's got the plan. Ah, oh, 154, new nice. personal best. I beat it by 50. Nice. So Good the job. the bot that I wrote uh, essentially compares the background color to the color immediately above your head. Oh yeah. And just matches right unless there's something there. And just it, like, just, it just goes on forever. There's no... Yeah, it just goes. Uh, eventually, the, the scripting language I chose to wrote the bot in uh, couldn't scan the speed, couldn't scan the screen faster than it was generating branches. Oh, wow. So it, it failed after like 256. Nice. But still, I think that's... that's Admirable. Good. All right. So that's, that's the first level of Super Hot. Yeah. <clears throat> it's... Fun and interesting, it's super and very hot. neat. It's super hot right now. So what do we got left? We got a half of an hour on uh, the stream. And we wanted to try Portal and then Black Mesa. Black Mesa, but probably just Portal. Um, and that's a me game, right? Or do you maybe just want to do Black Mesa because like skip the the puzzle aspect and go right to another first person shooter? Hmm. Well, why don't we do this? Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry for coughing there. Um, what we can do is we can do... Um, can, what did you want me to do in Portal? Up until you got to the blue portal then. Oh, like the first portal. Like, okay, all right, all right. Um, I'd honestly rather talk about Portal. Sure. 
than Black Mesa or than, than Half Life, the original Half Life. We might still have time to do Black Mesa afterwards. Okay, let's do Black Mesa. If you want to, real quick, right click <clears throat> on Portal, uh, uninstall. See, I moved all my games to a different folder. And then oh, right, right, right click, install. It'll just copy the data over. That's perfect. <coughs> stop that. What? Stop doing the tree St dude thing? Stop the tree dude. It's in your head. It's infectious. It's an earwig. Or a worm. Earworm. Is it earworm or wig? It's earworm. Earwigs are not. Earwigs are creatures, aren't they? Earwigs are creatures. Yeah, they actually do shit. Technomagnus is here. Technomagus. 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 How do I pronounce your name, Technomagus? It's probably not Technomagnus. <coughs> There's no N, so it can't. Well, I mean, it's there in spirit. While it's installing, let's switch over. Sure. Our butts. All right. I'm going to go flip to break. Okay, mic unmuted. I didn't realize you had the mic muted. I was talking to the audience. Oh, I love this guy. He's like, is this one where he turns around? No. Okay. <clears throat> what happens powered when you turn Thorth. that thing? It's powered by Thorth. What happens when you turn a valve? No, that valve on the back of his head. Does he just, like, ooze water? Yes. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Oh, wait. I wonder if, yeah, I gotta switch this. What in. resolution? I don't know why. That makes no sense. Okay. Let's see here. Hi, 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 hi. Ooh, enabled. No, you do not want motion blur. Anymore. No. No. Why? Motion blur is a cheap trick used to. Hide how good well, you really like that band today, huh? Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, and it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, we're good. Okay, new game. New game. Start new game. <clears throat> so, yeah, portal begins. You're in a small room. There's portal a begins. running down. Things are clean. But not well. Things are uh, clinical, but not clean. Cleanish. It's like there's some definite consistency of design, but things are not well maintained. Was I in that pod? It's getting rusty. Hello and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Mission Center. We hope your brief detention. Let me turn that up a little bit because you definitely want to hear Gladys. Relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, there is a right now. Okay, we're gonna Fixed. <laughs> okay. There's a reason why I called it You're Adopted. Oh! It's because Joe's adopted. What's this? That's me. 
That's you. That's me. See, that's a really good design right there because yeah, it's like you have facing to see that, what's about to happen. and you always see you. So you see red or orange portal, blue portal. It, it reminds me of a story about the development of Half Life One. Um, like the, the the setting of Half Life One in the facility. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one of the big problems of game design is making your setting believable. And uh, Excellent. One, of, one of the designers is proceeding to the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, like note the incandescent mm -hmm. particle field across uh, the exit. This aperture science material yeah. emancipation grid yeah, will vaporize any yeah. unauthorized <laughs> equipment that passes through it. Is that For instance, the aperture passes. science weighted Long storage cube. And droning and droning and droning. Yeah, really. um, but he, he was curious how they were going to manage to create a one-way door in a realistic environment because in an outdoor game, the one-way door Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy-duty super colliding super button. that has to be realistic-ish. And then another designer just put down a fire door with the push bar on one side. And he's like, oh my god, that's so simple. Because it, it literally is. It's a one-way door. The doors with the push bar on one side. And putting a window in the door allowed the player to see what was happening on the other side while not being able to get through it that way. And then, like, flat, fast forward several years and Valve keeps making these simple little creations that don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Simple little creations Perfect. that um, please move quickly to the chamber lock uh, as the effects of prolonged so exposure to the button are waterfall. not part of this test. Like in the case of the the first room, mm -hmm. walking through a portal, but in a place where you have glass walls, right? So you can see yourself doing it, right? Like I would have loved to know how long that took to make this simple little trick. Well, I mean, uh, have, yeah. have you, th this, this does have that a noticeable notes. taste of blood is not part yeah, of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, <laughs> grounds, tooth enamel, and teeth. So yeah, so far we've been introduced to buttons, moving portals, and Gladys, and uh, some weird, weird robot shit that's happening. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, yeah. you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven so we're going to until be completely got safe. Right? The device, yep. however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Please proceed to the chamber lock. My this, this room's developer commentary is one of my favorites. Really? Um, because of the way the, the orange portal is Well then, remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. It forces players to, uh, um, to bring... It forces players to go back into a portal that Yeah, to go back left. into the orange one. To, because to, yeah. Apparently, according to the developer commentary, um, one of the issues testers had was they would always use the blue portal mm -hmm. first and the orange one at the exit. Yeah. So they put in a series of rooms that force you to not do that. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. I teach you that it's not a series, it's not like a progression. You, there's a lot of interdimensional play afoot. I don't know that I've ended the interdimensional play. <laughs> Excellent work. As far 
Don't you get an achievement for destroying all the radios? You will yes. be entirely on your own. Good luck. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, also, do not destroy ladies. vital testing apparatus. Holy right, that's the updated those, one. Those were added for the the party before uh, Portal 2's release. Several years ago. <laughs> Do. You are so old. I like that particle effect. That particle effect is so neat. Yeah, it's pretty. For your own safety, do not destroy <laughs> vital testing apparatus. You want to see a secret? Uh, always. Um, there's a, uh, a thing you can do in this chamber. Oh, come um, on. That, uh, it, it's a confirmed secret, so like, put boxes on those buttons. Okay. And don't go through the door. Okay. How Certain familiar are you with Certain objects may be vital to your purpose. success. Pretty Do not familiar. destroy testing apparatus. Okay. So, um, shoot a portal in that room. In this room? No, in, or... into the next room. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, never mind. Sorry. Put a put a portal on the wall in here. Be on here. Yeah, be here. Nope. You you have to do this in such a way that you can take the. You can remove the box from one of these buttons. Hmm. It's tricky. Oh, actually, put, throw the box through the orange portal. Or use the boxes to get up on that platform. Either one will work, I think. Get up on this platform? Yeah, stack both on the on top of each other so it's a tiny staircase. Okay. But doing this will call a piece of dialogue that GLaDOS normally doesn't say until the end of the game. Uh, because it's possible. Okay. Yep. Go in? Yep. Or grab a key? Nope, just go in. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. What? That's not supposed to happen. No. How did I die? Let's try that again. Okay, maybe it doesn't work after the update or something. Anyway, if you get through there um, without actually pushing the buttons, mm -hmm. uh, she'll deliver the you're not a good person, you know that right line for way later. That's funny. Maybe it is if you take a box in there with you. So like repeat that setup, I guess. As part of a required that test dialogue protocol, normally does not happen our previous way later. statement suggesting that, that we would not monitor secret. this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> I forgot Sorry. which condition actually triggers. <laughs> that's the one. That was cool. If you go through the portal quickly enough that she doesn't get to say it at, before you enter the portal, she says she says that after the we will stop enhancing the truth bit, which frankly My safety made is one of many enrichment center goals. The app unbelievable. You <laughs> subject name here must be the pride of subject hometown here. Love the dialogue. Oh, 
look up. Uh, not fully up. Not down? Yeah. The elevator system. Warning well, devices it's are required on all mobile equipment. However, Great. alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold <laughs> to reach the chamber lock. I freely love the concept of an unstationary scaffold. Right. This game is so good that, like, all the all the weird names for products are just like really weird. It's like it's not it's not necessarily mind-bogglingly weird, but it's unsettling enough in the dialogue choices to really set up the the twist, I guess, of things are weird. Mm -hmm. How just like just even like the situation and the <clears throat> you you must be the pride of subjects hometown here yeah like that statement that's Please congratulatory note that we have added a consequence for failure any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark <laughs> on your official testing record followed by death good luck It, the, the general state of decay of the place, too, doesn't help. Because um, it's, it's as you said, it's... It definitely looks like a place that ought to have been clean. But isn't. changes to the source engine done kind of invisibly um, and because of that there are several uh, portal one maps that I would love to show you sometime that simply do not work. Very impressive. Please oh. note that any yeah. appearance like, of danger is merely a device to they enhance just, your testing experience. <laughs> and that's a shame because they're the most impressive ones ever. Oh, that is a shame. Like uh, somebody went to the ends of modding in the lasers and mirrors from Portal 2 into Portal 1 and making ma amazing puzzles with them. But they just don't work anymore. Oh, that's right. I wanted to talk about the whole you're adopted thing. The Enrichment Center oh, regrets yeah. to um, inform you that this next she test says that is impossible. To make no attempt to solve it. Um, <laughs> love that. Um, she says that in Portal 2, you're adopted. Did you know that there was a, there was a whole... What's that noise? Are there neighbors? There must be. Someone's having a scrap upstairs. That's rude. The they know we're screaming. Apologizes no, right? for this clearly oh, broken oh, test oh, chamber. Um, what I was gonna say is that there, there's um. You remain resolute and there's resourceful a, there's in a an spot atmosphere in two of extreme where she pessimism. Was like you are adopted, and that's really sad. Um, there was a hubbub where. Oh yeah, this. Do you remember that? Yeah. These, these parents who had an adopted child, they were playing Portal 2 and it came across that. And they never told They never told their 13-year-old like, adopted right. child that she was adopted and they decided to sue Valve for causing this drama in their family. Right, exactly. It's like, that's not the correct solution. Hello again. Okay. To reiterate, yes. previous morning, yes. Right. To reiterate previous warning, have you taken physics one? Okay, I'm sorry for all the stomping people, but I have no idea what's going on up there. I don't know if that's even coming true, but You will appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. <laughs> it does not. It, it sounds like a couch is getting in a fight with a fight. <laughs> Right. No 
momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yeah. Alright, we're almost done here. Oh, great. Thanks, person. Yay. Yeah, it, it, it's very stompy. There's a lot of stomping things happening on the screen. I, I really have some weird moments with my, my, my descriptions of things. What? Like a couch having a fight. With a I, it's just suddenly coming back to the me. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing testing environment. environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. There's a particular memory I have from my first year of college where like, the laundry facilities sounded like utter garbage. Um, something was rusty about their construction. Um, yeah. But one. Uh, a friend of mine from home was trying to ask me what it sounded like, and I came up with the phrase, it sounds like an elephant giving birth to a cactus. Oh! So there was this, this awful squealing. Um, I have the sound file on my computer somewhere, but it was just... I don't know. I'm not sure where those, uh, those concepts materialize, but boy, do they. There we go. Yay! Hey, you're looking at the operational end of the device. An elephant giving birth to a cactus. I'll play that sound for you sometime. <laughs> the device has been modified so oh, that it can now manufacture damn. two linked portals at once. Yeah. As part of an so optional good. test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes <laughs> of everyone in Subject Phone Call here. So yeah, like that's a that's a canned response. But it's probably still accurate. It doesn't matter where you live. This device is more valuable than that. Right. What kind of company are we inside of? It's just like little things developed or delivered by this uh, this unfeeling computer voice that really set up how fucky the place is. And what's what's also funny is that um, later on your character develops such a rapport with Gladys, especially in the second game. Yeah. You know. The whole comedy of, you know, you are just a cog, you're yes. just a pawn, you're just a, you know, test subject is very... But the, the Portal 2 comic, that is the comic that sets up some of the events in Portal 2, mm -hmm. um, you are a very particular cog. Do, do you know why Chell was the only survivor? I think so. I, I, I read a lot of Portal stuff when Portal 2 came out. I totally forgot a lot of it, though. I remember there was a Mouse Man? Mouse Man was one of the only surviving... Or rat, rat Man. Rat Man, yes. Yeah. Rat Man was one of the only surviving scientists, and he figured out... Or, well, he imagined that Chell would be able to at least annoy GLaDOS long enough to keep her busy. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially it was that... Uh, Chell, from the Take Your Daughter to Work Day logs, was determined to be the most determined child. Like, never gives up levels of determined. And, uh, it's like, Ratman just saved her from the hibernation chambers. Oh, yeah. Because he could only, he could only save one person before GLaDOS noticed the, uh, the hack attempt and sent turrets to kill him. Um, but it, uh, yeah, he, he chose to save her because he figured that her never giving up attitude would be GLaDOS's undoing. And it worked! That's funny. Uh, Until we I turned had... her back on in Portal 2, anyway. I thought I had this installed. 
Uh, it's pretty close to the ending point, and also that's a lot of pounding. Either they're really, really knocking, like on somebody's door, or they're hanging up a picture with ferocity. <laughs> so that's watching Napoleon Dynamite. For some reason. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good stopping place. Yeah. That was a lot of games. That was, that was a lot, lot of, of games. first levels of games. Yeah, I'm really glad that we did that. That worked. That all worked. It's, it's been a really lot longer in the classics than I thought. But. It is faint. Like somebody like trying to get out of a coffin. Please get me out of this coffin. Very polite. Oh, my hair. Stick it up. All right, I'm going to do this. Ah, it's all messed up. Ah, what have I done? <clears throat> all right, well, thanks a lot for tuning in. Yeah. Thank and you very much. Yeah, until next time. Bye.